In this presentation, we will describe four applications of laser ultrasonics that have reached the hardware demonstration stage. These applications have enabled intelligent optical systems to build a solid technology and engineering base and provide a springboard for ongoing and future factory applications. Please join us in exploring each of these applications. The first application is an inline wall thickness monitor for seamless steel tubes. The requirement was to monitor the wall thickness of hot tubes as they exit a forming mill. A measurement head containing both laser is placed alongside the tube as it exits the mill. Both laser beams are directed to the tube surface and a shroud surrounds the measurement position for the purpose of eye safety. The left photo shows the measurement head being assembled in the lab. The head has provision for water cooling and an air purge. The right photo shows the head mounted in position on the line, in this case at 45 degrees. Note below that measurements can be made on tubes at a temperature above 1000 degrees and moving 5 meters per second. In this photo, we see a pipe exiting the mandrel mill. In the next clip, we show a video at this same position. In this video clip, the pipe will be moving from upper left to lower right. It is a little hard to see the tube motion except at the end, where the end of the tube and the mandrel move into view. Since the video goes fast, I will play it again. Here we have plotted the data as wall thickness versus position along the 16 meter tube. The laser ultrasonic data is plotted in red circles. After the tube cooled, thickness data was taken by hand using a transducer based thickness gauge. This data is plotted in the violet triangles. The data are in good agreement after accounting for an expected offset associated with thermal expansion. The second application is depth profiling of stress corrosion cracks in gas transmission pipelines. In this slide, we show a photo of a colony of stress corrosion cracks. These cracks appear close together with varying lengths. The crack spacing is too small to allow the use of conventional transducers for isolating a single crack. Laser ultrasonics has the benefit of very small spot size to interrogate a single crack at a time. For measuring the crack depth, we use the familiar time of flight diffraction technique in which we detect a wave that travels to the crack tip and then diffracts up to the surface on the opposite side of the crack. The time of flight and wave velocity can be used to determine the propagation distance. The crack depth is determined from this value and the known beam separation on the surface. We have simulated the waves that are generated and interact with a crack in this finite difference calculation. The laser generated waves start at the upper left. Longitudinal waves are shown in blue and shear waves are in red. When the waves reach the crack tip, the diffracted waves appear as circles centered at this position. The diffracted waves eventually reach the surface opposite the crack, where they are detected and their arrival time is determined. The strongest arrivals are longitudinal waves, but mode converted waves can also be detected. For scanning, both beams are moved parallel to an individual crack. In this video, we show both beams being scanned along a single crack. The beam spacing is 4 millimeters, 
the generation spot looks large only because it is overexposed. This is a B scan of the crack shown in the previous video. The crack starts at 4 mm and deepens at larger scan positions. The beams are scanned together along the crack. Note that the direct Rayleigh wave arrival disappears as the crack opens. The crack manifests itself as an increasing time delay of the lateral wave. We also observe a mode converted arrival. Using the B scan data and the measurement scheme described earlier, we have plotted the crack depth versus position. The crack deepens along the scan and reaches a depth of 2 millimeters at the end of the scan. We scanned another crack at a position where there was significant OD corrosion. We were able to measure the wall thickness along with the crack depth. This enables a realistic determination of the crack depth as a fraction of the remaining wall. We participated in an industry demonstration of a scanning laser ultrasonic system in Houston, Texas. A measurement head was mounted in a motorized platform that could be scanned axially and circumferentially. Since the cracks were mostly axial, this was the common scan direction. Our measurement head was only about 7 inches on a side and was fully fiberized. In this video we see our head scanning a single crack. The detection beam is at a wavelength of 1550 nanometers and so it is not visible in the video. In this slide we show a raw B scan of one of the scan cracks along with the crack profile as provided by our signal processing algorithm. The crack profile positions are aligned with the positions of the B scan. The next application is inline inspection of girth welds used for gas pipeline assembly. A macro of a weld with a centerline crack is shown here. Once again, we are using time of flight diffraction for inspecting the weld. With adequate sensitivity, we should be able to see separate diffracted arrivals from the top of the crack and the bottom. The B scans on the welded pipes are complex because of the influence of the prominent weld crown. Nevertheless, in this B scan, we can see a prominent shear wave arrival at around 9 microseconds that extends over 100 millimeters. From subsequent sectioning and macros, we know that there is a prominent centerline crack at the right positions and depth. Furthermore, the prominent double peak of the crack arrival suggests separate diffracted arrivals from the top and the bottom of the crack. We performed an industry demonstration at the site of the Weld Process Development Organization. The drawing and the photo show a short section of pipe fixtured for welding by a hybrid laser arc process. The weld head is on top and the laser ultrasonic measurement head is at about the 2 o'clock position. Both heads are secured to a stage that rotates counterclockwise during welding. The laser ultrasonic head is inspecting the weld about 5 seconds after it is formed. The measurement head is a little larger than the one used for SEC cracks because the generation laser was integrated inside. This is a video of the weld operation. The laser ultrasonic measurement head is acquiring weld data all the way around the pipe.
The final application is inline monitor of mechanical properties of steel strip. In this application, we are measuring mechanical properties of moving cold rolled steel strip through measurement of the wave velocity in the rolling direction. The measurement head is positioned under the strip with the beams directed in the upward direction. The measurement head interrogates the generation laser and uses a single optical fiber link for detection. There is provision for adjusting the height of the head to focus the beams. This photo shows the measurement head in place in the line. The small blue hoses are for compressed air to maintain clean optics and to purge the interior. This slide shows a typical temporal signal. Multiple backwall echoes are observed along with the Rayleigh wave and shock wave. The measured arrival times of the echoes allow an accurate determination of the wave velocity in the rolling direction. We are continuing with several of the factory applications we have described, and we're using our technology and engineering base for a number of newer applications. We're now working with major companies and government agencies to develop these applications. Many people have been involved in our activities, including the faculty and students at Tongji University in Shanghai, where we've established a joint laboratory. Thank you for your attention.